Greetings, young scientists. I'm King Thorn the Thoughtful, ruler of the Argo Prep Kingdom and your guide through the amazing world of science. Today, we're uncovering the invisible building blocks of everything around us. Yes, we're diving into the world of matter. Have you ever wondered what your chair, shoes, or even the air around you is made of? They're all made of matter. In today's scientific adventure, we'll find out 1. What everything around us is made of 2. Why we can't see the building blocks of matter with our eyes and 3. How these tiny particles behave in solids, liquids and gases. Are you ready for an exciting adventure into the invisible world of matter? Let's begin! Everything in our world, from mountains to grains of sand, is made of something called matter. Matter takes up space and has mass, which means it has weight. But here's the fun part. All matter is made up of tiny particles called atoms. They're so small, only the world's most powerful microscopes can see them. Now let's do a quick thought experiment. Imagine you have a balloon. What happens when you blow it up? Exactly, it gets bigger. That's because you're filling it with air, tiny particles that take up space and make the balloon expand. By blowing up the balloon, we can see how something invisible can fill space. Isn't that amazing? How about we perform an experiment of our own? We're going to conduct a quick experiment together to see how invisible particles of matter behave. Are you ready? For this experiment, you'll need a clear glass of warm water, a spoon, and sugar, about one teaspoon. Grab your supplies and let's get started. Step 1. Hold up your glass of water. It looks clear, doesn't it? But we're about to mix in something that will help us see those tiny particles. Step 2. Add one teaspoon of sugar into the water. Don't stir just yet. Watch what happens to the sugar as it sinks to the bottom. Step 3. Now, stir the sugar with your spoon. Watch carefully. What do you notice? It looks like the sugar disappears, right? But has it really vanished? Pause and think. The sugar is still there, even if we can't see it anymore. The sugar has spread out into tiny particles, mixing with the water particles so small that they're invisible to our eyes. But how can we be sure that the sugar is still there? I want you to taste the water. You'll find that the water is sweet, and that's proof that the sugar is still present. Now, let's talk about how these tiny particles behave. The way particles move depends on whether they're in a solid, a liquid, or a gas state. In solids, the particles are packed tightly together and can only vibrate in place. They don't move much. Now in liquids, the particles are more spread out. They can slide past each other, which is why liquids flow. In gases, the particles are far apart and move around quickly in all directions. They're always moving and bouncing off each other. Here's a question for you. Can you think of something that you can't see but can still experience because of tiny particles? Here are some examples of things we can't see but we know are made up of particles. Wind. You cannot see the air particles but you can feel the wind on your skin and see it move the trees. Perfume. You can't see the tiny perfume particles in the air, but you can smell them as they spread around the room. Steam. You can't see the water particles in steam, but you can feel the warmth when it rises from a hot cup of tea. Dust. You can't see the individual dust particles floating in the air, but you might notice them when sunlight shines through a window. And finally, smoke. You can't see the particles in smoke, but you can smell it and see how it drifts through the air. These examples illustrate that tiny particles of matter are all around us, even when we can't see them. Now that you've journeyed into the invisible world of matter, it's time to celebrate our newfound knowledge. I hereby award you with the Argo Star. This Argo star is proof of your amazing work today. 
Every time you watch one of our videos and learn new things, you'll have a chance to earn an Argo Star. The more you learn, the more stars you'll collect. Isn't that awesome? Let's review what we've learned today. We learned 1. Everything around us is made of matter. 2. Matter is made up of tiny particles called atoms. And 3. These particles behave differently in solids, liquids and gases. Remember, when it comes to science, there's always more than meets the eye. Keep your royal senses alert for matter interactions around you each day. Until our next adventure, this is King Thorn bidding you farewell and reminding you to keep exploring the invisible wonders of our kingdom and beyond.